enrolling in ESL courses in eServices. If you have already looked at the online course schedule, you know which courses you want to enroll in, which courses you want to take next semester. To enroll in courses, go to the ARC homepage. Look for student login at the top of the page. Put your cursor over student login and a drop down menu will appear. Click on eServices. Type in your ARC student ID number. Be sure to use a W at the beginning. Type in your password and click on sign in. Click on manage classes in the middle row over on the left. Click on Class Search and Enroll in the column on the left. Click on the correct semester. Type in the course you want to enroll in. And press Return or Enter on your keyboard. Choose which college you want to enroll in classes at. You can click on the college or on the arrow over at the right. In this example, there are three open sections of ESL 47 at ARC. When you see open seats 5 of 28, it means that five more students can enroll in this class. When you see waitlist available places 20 of 20, it means the class is full. Students can join the waitlist if they really want to take that one section of ESL 47, but they will not be enrolled in the course. They might not be added to this class later. It's best to enroll in an open section to be sure that you have a class. Click on the class that you want to take. You can see the yellow highlighting to show that you have chosen this class. Check to be sure this is the class you want. So Tuesday, Thursday, 1215 to 320, this is the class I want and then click on the yellow Next button in the top right corner. Here we can see permission number, a box for a permission number, but you don't need to put in a permission number if you are enrolling before the semester starts. Just click on the green Accept button in the top right corner. If you are enrolling on or after your enrollment date, you can click on the yellow Next button in the top right corner if you're ready to enroll in the class. If you are looking for classes before your enrollment date, click in the circle in front of Add to Shopping Cart. For this example, I'm ready to enroll so I will click on the yellow Next button now. Check one more time to be 100% sure that this is the class you want. ESL 47, Tuesday, Thursday, 12.15 to 3.20. It's open. So yes, I want this class. Then click on the green Submit button in the top right corner. 
click on yes when asked, are you sure you want to submit? Congratulations. The green check mark shows that you have added ESL 47. This class has been added to your schedule. Click on return to class search results if you want to look at the choices for ESL 47 again or click on the class search the yellow class search button in the top left corner to look for another class like an ESL grammar class or an ESL listening and speaking course. Type in the name of the next course you want to enroll in Press return or enter on your keyboard and complete the same steps. Watch as I complete the steps to enroll in a grammar course. This class is open. All of these four classes are open. So I can choose any course. Maybe, maybe this course. So I'm ready to choose this course. I click on submit. Again, I see the green check mark. This class has been added to your schedule. Now watch as I try to enroll in a listening and speaking course. Here I can see that none of the sections of ESL 41 at ARC are open. These sections all have wait lists. If I want to get on a wait list, here's what I'll need to do. So I completed the steps, but I'm not enrolled in the class. This class is full. You have been placed on the wait list in position number nine. I am only on the wait list. I am number nine on the wait list. That means that eight other students will be added to this class before I can be added. I can stay on the wait list or I can go back to class search to see if there's an open section at another college in Los Rios. If I click on, so if I come back, if I come back here, if I click on weekly schedule in the column in the left, I can see what my class schedule will look like. I need to click up here on next to get to the first week of classes. So here I have two classes on Tuesdays and Thursdays, one class on Wednesdays. This class where it says waiting, this class I am not enrolled in. I'm only on the wait list. 
But these two classes, ESL 47 and ESL G41, these two classes I am enrolled in. If I decide to drop a class, I come over here to drop classes. So I'm enrolled in 47, I'm enrolled in 41, so I want to keep back these two classes. Here I can see enrolled and enrolled, but here status says waiting. If I want to drop this class, I click here. In the top right corner, I click on next. I review. I'm very careful to make sure that I'm dropping the class. I'm on the waiting list. I click drop classes. I click yes to confirm. Yes, I want to drop this class. And then I can see this class has been dropped. I can click on view my classes. And this one says ESL 47, I'm enrolled. And ESL G41, I am enrolled. So now I have two classes. I hope you're able to enroll in all the classes that you want to take. I'm looking forward to seeing you in ESL classes at ARC next semester. Thanks for watching.